Professor Yashikawa. The Harvard Graduate School of Education offers 13 master programs and two doctoral programs, right? Uh, which areas of study uh, do these programs cover? Uh, technology, policy, and education, uh, innovation, which are the, the strengths of the uh, so we have, I think, uh, three, three big strengths, um, that we have a lot of diversity in our programs. Uh, leadership is kind of a central strength, and I think uh, we have one of the most exciting new uh, doctoral programs in education, which is a three-year uh, EDLD, which means the Doctorate of uh, Education Leadership. And that uh, doctorate is a three-year program where the first two years are coursework, and the development of an educational innovation, and the third year is a uh, implementation of that educational innovation in the field with close mentorship. So that doctorate is aimed at transforming the field of education. Um, but we also have a leadership emphasis in our research doctorate, uh, the EDD, and in several of our master's programs. And then um, two other areas that we have that are um, strengths are human development, where we have uh, emphases on a variety of the uh, issues around learning, teaching, and the contexts of education, uh, whether they are aspects of cultures and communities in education, um, international education, uh, the study of um, mind-brain in education, which is kind of the new exciting research in the biological factors and neuroscience and what that means for education, uh, as well as arts and education and some other uh, programs. The third uh, area of strength is policy evaluation. So we train our students, uh, many of whom actually become education policy makers themselves. Uh, we train them in the conceptualization and design and uh, implementation and evaluation of policies relevant to education. Okay, okay. And do these programs, uh, do they have an international approach? I mean, would a Brazilian study a student uh, be able to come back to Brazil and use the knowledge, they, uh, the things they learned there in, the, in Brazil? Yes. Um, so in addition to an international education policy program, that Professor Fernando Reimers uh, directs. We have uh, emphases on global issues, on issues of migration, for example, or culture, um, or inequality. Um, many of the issues that uh, the educational system in Brazil uh, is struggling with, um, which might be issues of inequality, they might be issues of violence prevention, uh, they might be issues of effective education management uh, and systems. Uh, those, I think, are all of relevance uh, to Brazil. And we have a large number of faculty um, doing work uh, outside of North America um, and quite a few Latin American projects, including some projects in Brazil. Great. So Brazilian students could apply to all of them, not only to the one that has international in the That's name. That's right. That's okay. right. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. And uh, Brazil is in a good moment now, we could say, economically and in the world. Everyone wants to study Brazil. Uh, how is the Harvard Graduate School of Education interested in Brazil? Uh, do you want to attract Brazilian students? Do they have good chances in the selection process? Uh, yes, certainly. As a, a rapidly expanding nation, you know, a, a really a new leader uh, in the world, um, uh, Brazilian students are one group that we are especially interested in recruiting. Of course, the Lehman Fellowship uh, is a wonderful opportunity, um, but uh, we overall welcome uh, students uh, to apply from Brazil. I think they provide uh, a really important perspective um, to our students from the United States uh, to really think about education in our new globalized world, uh, to think about um, uh, what our education systems can learn from each other. Uh, so I think uh, this is a really exciting opportunity for us, as well as hopefully uh, for students from Brazil. Great. And, and what do you want to, to see in uh, applications of candidates? I mean, what do you expect? Uh, 
from a student? What would you like them to look like in their careers and what do they have to, done, to do to, to go to the Harvard Graduate School? Um, uh, so if students who are interested in applying to the Harvard Graduate School of Education go on our website, the first thing they see is that our mission is work at the nexus of practice, policy, and research. Um, so a good profile for a student is a student who expresses interest, uh, certainly for example, not in research for the sake of research, but research uh, for applications to educational practice and policy. Or a student who demonstrates knowledge of the practice world in education and wants to integrate that in a new way uh, with uh, research and uh, educational science, for example, or the social sciences. So um, uh, those are, I think, our examples. Those are exactly the same things we look for in our faculty. Uh, so our faculty are doing work that integrates uh, the worlds of practice, policy, and research. And so that's what we look for in our students. Thank you very much for your time and for coming to Brazil to uh, promote this school as well. Thanks so much. I've had a wonderful time here.